Right, so you right oh, Barking Frog versus Jeb. Some, uh, some potential, like, blood against... Uh, yep. Some, some potential blood between these two competitors, like, in the sense of, um, wanting to get their win back. Since, uh, I do know for a fact these two did face off against each other in doubles. Yep. Yeah. Or were they like. Yeah. Um, okay, so ZSS has massive stage control right now against the green. Um, there's. This stock is looking uh, pretty ZSS, but you can't can never roll out anything like some just some ink and you're, you're pretty much next to next thing. You know, it's interesting. I also I feel like Inkling was one of those ones that people were pretty high on at the beginning, but then you know kind nobody's of really out. yeah nobody's really and, and I feel like Cosmos is the only one who's like yeah. really top tier still playing. Inkling. And it's like um, I definitely used to struggle against Inkling, so it's like kind of sucks now that I have an <laughs> understanding. Yeah, it. yeah. Like, I, I just, you know, the only thing I don't like, and this is, you know, everybody's got personal preference and things like that. You say you do like RNG. Like, I don't like characters like Cloud or Inkling that have, like, a thing that I'm looking for. Like, again, well, it's not a, to me, it's not a, it's like part of the character, but it's like, it's like a thing outside of your normal kit that, like, yeah, almost so. like the loft in a way, because sometimes you're, like, looking for it. Sometimes you look too hard for it. Yeah, um, honestly, it's, it's just always I just don't. I like the new characters because yeah. I like, get bored of characters super quick. Like that's Fair that's why I always joke as, as I'm a random main, <laughs> just because it's like I'll play a character for a week and then I'll drop it. Like, I okay, got you. I'm. It's like okay, I'm confident with this character now. It's like, oh, boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta switch it up. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It's like that's why I think my longest stretch as a consistent like solo main was Pokemon trainer. Oh, nice. Like, three well, because there's yeah, because it gives you your your uh, ability to switch it up. Yeah, I and, feel uh, like... and I always have the degenerate tactic of um, just side beating as yep. Charizard. Totally. Yep. I um, I feel like so much of this matchup too is like you see that that with Barking Frog there is that your, like your ink management is such a part of the game that yeah, the, uh, he went for the ink and then, it's and definitely then the game a double the opportunity to get in. Yeah, that's definitely a double edged sword, especially depending on who you're playing against. Because like if you have to recharge your ink, um, let's say you're playing against Snake, that's just free time for Snake to like set up bombs and stuff. Exactly. All right, so here we go with. Uh, Barking Frog, you know, kind of uh, trying to bring it back a little bit. If you can get a clip off, we can send it to that glass stock. And uh, honestly, this is even because, like, when you hit the ZSS, it's like, like ZSS is in glass zone. If you get it. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting that. Yeah. But, um, Jeff, but um, Barking Frog probably at least thought or maybe knew that um, Jeb was expecting that. So, like, he was already probably DI in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, so the, it's the, the I think that you think that I think that you think you're going to do something kind of thing. Yeah, that's why Rock, Paper, Scissors <laughs> is such a good competitive game. Well, you know, Smash is exactly like Rock, Paper, Scissors, right? Yeah. It's, it's like, whenever I explain it to parents who come by the gym, I'm always like, it's a game of Rock, Paper, Scissors. You got three moves, grab, block, and attack. Attack beats grab, or, yeah, attack beats grab, grab beats block, block beats attack. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and, like, and then, like, there we have, like, and then, with, it's a more in depth, right? Any com I guess any fighting game is in depth, right? Oh, yeah, totally. It's like, then you have, like, jabs, airs. Well, sure, like, but 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 those are still yeah. versions of attack. But you're right, like, yes. Yeah, Ooh, whenever I kind calls them out right there. I used to have, like, a phase where I was really desperate to get more people into fire and so I always explained it as, think chess, but different, like, but different moot characters, and it's also with rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, and and magic. <laughs> All right, so all of a sudden, uh, uh, Barking Frog um, is kind of looking, uh, looking a little bit worked right here. Oh, ZSS goes yeah, for it. Yeah, but it's totally doable because, again, like, Inkling has ink, and you know, the more ink you have on you, yep. And at this point, out. I feel like uh, we're getting about even. That ink does, like, doesn't even... But that is hey, it. That is game. From Jeb. Jeb taking the game. But you still do have game two and possibly game two. Very early. Um, 
Yeah. Alright, how's everybody else doing? We're gonna check brackets. Yeah. Uh, see what's going on here. Hey, let's get bracket up on screen. Oh, get between games. Maybe in between sets we should try to bring up that bracket to see. Jalen. Dexter and D3. It is in fact Saturday after 8 p.m. So uh, KK Slider on any, every animal crossing stage. Alright, so here we go. Uh, what's up, Mario? How's it going? Woo! Is everybody uh, all full out there? Dude, you gotta talk to Gavin, man. He's the man behind the... the... We get... Look, the talent is always here. It's it's we need the real the real yeah. heroes in, in our film and video and editing. We yeah, behind the scenes people don't get enough credit. No, they're like, the real heroes. Like I um I. Do you know what I actually would have actually figured this out when we made the turn of things using any single light? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he, he, he likes to, you know, it's hard to get people behind the camera in front of the camera. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's like I'm a behind the scenes person totally. Like, I don't like really being in front of the camera. This is the closest thing to in front of the camera I do. Yeah. Like, hey, well, that's awesome, like, though. Um, I mean, like, I, yeah, but it's all about, it's all about putting yourself out there. Yeah. And, you know, all right. It's uh, it's definitely not easy to do in public yeah, speaking. I mean, totally. It's like I'm, Hell yeah. It's like I'm a good public speaker, which is why I'm so comfortable like at a mic. But it's like I don't like being recorded. Yeah. yeah. And like, well, look, like I, I have a. Everybody like, sounds dumb sometimes. Everybody says. You no, know, for me it's not that. For me it's more like I guess I could say I have a fear of cameras to an extent. Fair enough. <laughs> like I don't like just being watched. And yeah. Well, we all have our, our, our things, and I think yeah. that the main thing that I think is cool is that whether you are a great player, a great commentator, a production, TO, Smash gives you yeah, so many Everyone opportunities. Everyone has like an opportunity. Everyone's good at something. Exactly. I think he's gonna do good, man, because I feel like you guys, it's all about your 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 back and forth with the cook. Yeah. Like with with you and me, the reason why that segment was so good is that we were rapping the whole time, we're asking questions, we're like, oh this is how you do it. You make for us it was natural. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, honestly? Exactly. I think of Dominic Dude is pretty good. Like, he has pretty good. Exactly. Totally. I feel like that's what like it's just like this, you know, yeah. like when you have a commentator and like this is the first time we've commentated together, but like the next time we do it, it's gonna be even easier, yeah. you know? It's cool. I, I really I think the the commentating thing and one of the things that I, I like I really struggle with public speaking. I actually took a, a public speaking course in college and uh, it was a huge help because it really pushed you outside of your comfort zone and like you know, made me do that. So it's cool that people are I didn't have this opportunity yeah. before college, you know, so yeah, for me, it's definitely, like, I am a born performer, but I don't like, and it's like, I like Spotlight, but it's like, I don't like cameras. So sure. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. All right, so back to this match right here. We got, we've got, uh, all right, so Jeb on his last stock, Barking Frog, holding on to this stock for dear life, but it looks like he's going to get clipped, and we're on to that last stock right here. Okay, so, um, Barking Frog definitely trying to... Just get Jeb, like, trying to get the victory, trying to just yeah, he's keep close Jeb away. Yeah. He's trying to close it out right here. Doing a pretty good job, looking pretty good, but ZSS can, can rack up damage real quick, and then, you know, just knock you off the top. Ah! You know, just going up high. I feel like you want to pick a stage with a nice high ceiling if you're going against ZSS. Yeah, like, with ZSS, you bet that I'm wrong, because she does have really good upper and high. Yep. Um, and, um... Inkling, but with Inkling, that might be just the thing because Inkling has to go. Inkling! Uh, Take it never in. mind, commentator's curse. I was going to say, Sorry. low. Inkling. Win. It's like a... Well, as I was going to say, which was just proven wrong, um, I was going to say that uh, Inkling does not have the best um, upper knockback, but 
But I guess I was wrong. That, that, I mean, you, they went up for it. Like they yeah, were. Yeah, true. That, you know, like, I guess. I feel like when you got up, I guess up it or has back, like a massive like. Right? Do you want your phone yeah. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but I think it's a, definitely a, also a rage boost type thing, like how um, Ness's back throw is like weak when you're at zero. Yeah, totally. But it's like, it has a massive wind fire. <clears throat> Alright, so Battlefield. So who do you think this benefits here? I think, um, um, definitely ZSS. You think? Yeah. Having that um, nice high, high, uh... Not just the platforms, but it's also, um, I'll, actually it's all about platforms, I don't know if it's just for ZSS, but... Oh, like, that really best um, string. It doesn't really have the best string ever. Yup. Um, like, she, um, just has a weak, um, disadvantage to draw in the air. Like, she's pretty good at disadvantage draw in the ground, but when she's in the air, she's there. Yeah. It's interesting. This is, uh, I feel like this is, uh, um, uh, a, a matchup where both characters kind of have some, some tools to get away, but both really want to yeah. try to get in, you know? Yeah, both are good against each other. Yeah. Inkling with that great recovery, too. Like, this is a 50-50. Like, the most... This is the 50-50 matchup in its fierce form that's not a good end. I dig it. All right, getting a little bit of ink back. Throwing out some back airs. Um, and here we are. Pretty much even on this first stock. Looking pretty good. We're doing the dance. Um, nice grab. This stock is definitely looking inkling, but this is very noble for ZSS. Totally. Like, three stocks left, but you can pretty much consider it this stock. I don't know where inkling sits on the... Uh, Ooh, and ZSS. Ooh, living. What's up, Joey? Nice. Yeah, I don't know at all where inkling sits on the weight listing, but I do know... I mean, pretty light. Like, yeah, but I do know for that um, ZSS has... Of 40. Oh, interesting. Like All right. Units. So here we go. It'll be interesting to see if ZSS can wrap any damage up. Yeah, that's. Oh, how interesting. Uh, Still living. I was expecting. Like, um, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen too much pressure off stage from uh, from Barking Frog, but. I wonder if that's because uh, it's yes, still early in the tournament. You don't want to risk getting knocked out. Yeah, you said that. You said that last time. You gotta, you gotta pace yourself. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you Play can't really always that's at your best, um, like, like you, at the beginning. That's then, like, yeah. you, like you can't bust out the risky stuff in the beginning either because like it fails your encounter. Yeah, I, I, um, I, you know, against my guys, I should have shown my best. I uh, really tried to like hold on and keep some secrets and maybe throw them. And that wasn't true, they just got one. <laughs> you worked yourself into your brother. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I fooled them into thinking that I was good for a second, and then I realized I wasn't. I think I'm solid in the sense of, like, I have a large character pool, so I know good counter picks. You got some matchups? Yeah, nice. I've got matchups and counter picks, just because I guess I have time to be pretty much everything. You're just a random man? Alright, yeah. so ooh, here we are in this last stock. It'll be interesting to see which can get it off first and then rack up a little bit of damage before we go into that last stock. ZSS throwing out lassos. Uh, ooh, almost with that back throw. Back throw doesn't really Ooh, with the bomb. Oh, with ZSS taking the, taking the second stock. Uh, on Battlefield, you... So Here that, it is! Like, as an inkling in Battlefield, um, you never need to be in the middle of, like, the, like right there. Yeah. Um, on the left side of the platform, or far side of the platform. Oh, even now, um, you're on the air platform. So, you um, get a get a kill out of you. It's not the best throw I got you. By any means. Alright, so here it is, last stock. We got Barking Frog with, uh, 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 Alright, well, I was going to say a tiny little deficit, but it's all even there's now. No, um, there's no deficit. I feel like Smash is all about where you find that opening, because if you can find that opening, you can rack up 20, 30, 40% on, on you know, whoever it is. When you're against Inkling, you're only in the deficit. Fair enough. Like, um, ink, because Inkling, you know, has the ink damage on the on top of Rage, and, like, you don't even get, get say, that hypothetical Rage from the ink that you are. Yeah. So it's like definitely a very good match. Ooh! Oh! 
DSS living. Living after the cutscene. Living. Not the most common thing in this game. No, it's great. And so, this can is Jeb definitely make doable. any any progress with that with that life that Sakurai gave him on that. Uh, this is definitely doable. Yeah. Not, not One or two hits, and you're right back in it. All oh, rushing in. Nice back air. Yeah. Oh. Woo! I was expecting him. Like, honestly, I probably would have gone for like, a fair bear. That guy's a fair ball Oh, nice back air. Here it is. Ink to the face. These bombs are causing all kinds of issues, but it's just going to take one hit from either of them. Running in from ZSS. Oh, let's go that step. Oh, no limit. Hey, Lemon. Oh, here we go. All right, it's anybody's game right here. Game three. Superflex 2020. Barking frog oh, really just nice. stop going for the back throw. That that just doesn't kill. Oh, there up it air is. Kills them. Up air kills. Wow. There you go, barking frog. Great, great set from Jeb. Honestly, the back throw doesn't kill for me, including wow. MSR, until you're like at 200, no matter what. You know what? That is like the 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 third or fourth.